What is going on guys, this is Nas from Super Strength TV. As you can see, I've come a long way from just filming with a cell phone camera to actually buying a camera. It's not the best camera, but it, right now it's doable, it's good quality. But anyways, today was a bench day, it was a light bench day for me. So I did 3 sets of 10 at 145. I have a really weak, I have a really weak bench, so I have to get it up before my nationals meet. I, I want it to be around like 240, 250. Right now it's currently at 220. With this set, my band, my back was cramping up real bad, so I had to change the style of my arch. You're gonna, you're gonna see it with the next set here. As you can see, with the very couple last few sets, it got hard. My computer's acting up right now. I don't know what's going on when I'm still record. And with this set, you're about to see how I, how I, this is how I used to arch, but I don't do that anymore because it wasn't deep enough to the way how I wanted it. And that was the arch I used to do that, but I don't anymore because it was hurting my shoulder. It hurts my shoulders really bad. But with this set, the weight came up much easier than last time. I got all the reps done. But to me, it felt easy. This is a bad angle right here, but this is a dumbbell bench press. I don't know what's going on, but I don't see any of the video right now while I'm recording. But I did these for three sets of 12 or 45 pounds. I like these because I really get to feel the, that my muscles actually work more than the bench. Since it's somewhat of a closer grip and I get more range of emotion. These sets actually feel real light. Then I have some, then I did more of my workout, I did overhead presses, I did bent over rows, lap, I mean face pulls, lap pull downs, but they're not in the video, I'm going to put everything in the description. As you can see I changed the crap, crappy angle to a slightly better angle. Here's my last set. I don't know what I'm doing with the camera. And you'll get a good shot of my calves too. So I also did tricep extensions and hammer curls. I didn't put that in the video because my camera died on me. Then we have the circuit coming up, which I really like, which I really like to do since I honestly don't like cardio. Where it's just 10 push-ups and not full range of motion. I'm not touching my chest to the floor, touching my nose to the floor. I'm just going to until I feel my hat touch the floor. And I'm putting it with 30 second planks, or just planks, I'm not sure if I did it for 30 seconds. I like to do these since I'm not a cardio person, but it's something to get my heart rate up, get me sweating, get blood flowing through my muscles, and it gives you a real nice arm pump and chest pump after, after the workout.
Now you may be thinking these may be easy, but they're really not, especially if you just did a whole lot of volume work on bench, especially with the accessory work that I did before. This was a, this was real tough for me since I honestly hate doing push-ups and I hate playing because my core is weak. And I think this is my last set here with the push-ups and the planks. As you can see, I had to take a rest just when doing like three or four. If you like the video, like it, then subscribe, and see you next time.